we were talking to Vrabel earlier about how how he spent a lot of time with you early on when he got here, coaching you up, trying to trying to make sure that you had all the points that he was trying to get across. It seemed to take a particular interest in you. Wow, what's kind of been the evolution of your re- relationship with him as your head coach? Um, just getting used to his uh, coaching style uh, when he first got here, and and uh, I'll say not not taking things. Uh, as personal, <laughs> you know, he just wants the best. He just wants the best for you, and uh, I eventually uh, I seen that, and, uh, and then from there, just been uh, just teaching me things to get better through uh, the run and, and through the pass and coveraging. He just he just wants the best uh, for everybody on the team to just uh, live up to the potential that he sees in us. Can you give us an example of a moment where you had to remind yourself not to take it personally? Oh man, that, that's uh, of my of his first year. That was it was that was pretty much uh, every day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but he, he's a, he's a really great coach. I I love his uh, coaching techniques and and he's really helped me improve as a as a player all uh, all around. Uh, Teresa. Jay, on to follow up with that, when when you do start seeing improvement, when a coach is pushing you like that, and you see the results in yourself, your play, and then you start to see the results like this team had this last season, does that even help further cement the buy-in into uh, how a coach is uh, pushing you? Uh, he he pushes he pushes everybody. It wasn't it wasn't uh, just me, but um, but definitely though, uh, just to see what we did, what we have done, uh, getting better since since he's uh, been here and just improving each and every year and to, to make it as far as we did last year, uh, everybody had to be bought in and yeah, everybody had to be bought in. Uh, Jim? Jan, where, where do you feel like this defense is as far as a regular season ready readiness standpoint and, uh, and just kind of just following up with that, just how much does last year's experience with Denver maybe – Go, how much is that going to help as you guys start preparing for them, uh, really turn the attention to them next week? Well, uh, you know, we got a lot of dudes coming back, got some new dudes uh, that we added. And, you know, we, we really won't know until until the game happens of, of where we are. But until then, just take it day by day and get better in these practices and keep improving on our, our techniques and our coverages and everything like that. And, uh you know, be ready to, to ball when it, when it comes down to it for game day. Uh, Terry? Jayon, I know you've not got to tackle him live in, in practice and all, but you've seen him many a times coming at you. What What's it look like for a linebacker when you see Derrick Henry coming through the hole with a head of steam? And also, what's it, how much more effective can he be if he starts catching swing passes out of the backfield and getting that head of steam? Well, uh, you know, Derek can be as great as he uh, as he wants to be, and and uh, you know, practicing against a running back uh, that size and uh, a really good O line like like we do have, I would say it's it's great. You know, practice going against guys like Taylor and Ben and Roger, and all you know our whole our whole starting lineup uh, O line to get us ready for the game. So you know, we compete when uh, when it's uh, ones on ones and and we go after it, but uh, we're getting each other better to for the games. Uh, John Glenn. Hey, Jayon. Um, question for you on in terms of pass rushing. It seemed like you did less uh, rushing the passer last year than the previous year. I wondered if you thought if you would agree with that, uh, um, and if you thought that might change back uh, this year. I know you had a lot of success in uh, 2018 when it came to getting the quarterback. Uh, what, whatever the coaches draw up for me to do, uh, I'll do. Uh, it's all about it's all about the team, not not myself. Uh, so if they want me to to rush to to help us win, I'll do it and cover. So whatever wherever I'm needed, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll go to and uh, do my best do my best at it. I was also going to ask you about uh, Will Compton's addition there. Um, what, what does he bring to you know the the field to the meeting room? Is there at all kind of a, a Wesley Woodyard? Uh, you know, a flavor to to what he brings to the uh, to the room. Uh, Will Will's a, a a fun guy, and he has a lot of smarts uh, when it comes to football. So he's bringing that to our room, and 
Also, he, he told me uh, on this interview, if, if if he got brought up to shout out to Boys, Buzzing to the Boys, great and five stars is exactly what he told me. So shout out to Will. <laughs> uh, Luke? Hey, Jay, you, you've been a part of these last three seasons where you all have gone nine and seven, and two of them you made the playoffs, but in none did you win the division. I'm wondering, has that been an emphasis at all as you guys meet and, and talk about goals for the upcoming season, taking that next step and winning the South? Yeah, we, we would definitely uh, love to win the division. and But, uh, you know, it has, hasn't happened yet, and uh, it's a new year, so we'll see, we'll see what, uh, what lies ahead for us. But, you know, just take it game by game and just try to win as many games as possible to get to the to the big uh you know to the Super Bowl. Uh Buck. Jay on whenever teams go out to play at Denver, the elevation is always something that's brought up uh, making it more difficult to play out there. You guys were just out there last season. Is that is that something that you actually notice when you're out on the field in the middle of that game or is is that you know, I guess if you could kind of give us uh, give us your thoughts on that. Well, uh, well, I remember playing in uh, Denver last year. I, I got uh, injured a couple couple plays in, so I really didn't get the experience it as as uh, as everybody else did on the team. So I can I can really give you information on that one. Uh, 